Introducing the holiday challenge. It's that time of year. So remember, we did this last year. And what I loved about it is that a lot of people not only didn't gain weight, but they also moved forward on their goals. They lost weight, they gained some muscle, they kept the word to themselves, and they did awesome. So we're doing it again. And this is Candace, my girlfriend, she's going to be handling the mental health piece. She's such a professional, and she is just so down earth. And we've known each other for decades. So now we're just merging our communities. Hi, Candace. Hello, everybody. I'm Candace Box. I am your spiritual coach and energy healer. And I'm really excited to join you guys for the Mama Sita challenge to help you like clear your mind so you can really think clearly during the holidays because you know, admit it, we all lose our brains a little bit during this time, especially if we don't have some kind of discipline or consistency to keep us on track with where we want to go within our bodies, within our hearts and our minds. So I'm really excited to join Adriana for this challenge so that we can bring to you some peace of mind and open heartedness. Yes. And we're here to also tell you what it provides. A lot of you are wondering, hmm, what, what do we have with this holiday challenge? Last year was free. And remember I mentioned, take advantage of it because next year it's not, it's going to cost a little bit of money, but it's an investment in yourself. And it's so worth it because you're going to get a weekly workout. You're going to get a mental health uh, program. Candace is talking about this workbook that she has been working on that she's going to put in there as well. And some journal prompts and stretches and just inspiration and motivation. It is hard. Holidays are challenging. I mean, you barely can keep it together with all the family and just busyness of life. You take a look at the next six weeks and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> ending the week and then ending the year and then beginning the year. There's a lot going down on that track. And we are just here to help you stay on track. We're always growing ourselves. And so it's nice to bring people with us because we don't want you to lose ground the last quarter of the year and then start from scratch again. Right, Candice? Absolutely. I actually just went to the doctors and she's like, do you want to do your blood work now or later when you start your diet? I'm like, I'm going to start now because I need to get a bench line of where I'm at so that I'm not like rushing into the new year with this whole thing you call self-punishing workouts, right? <laughs> I <laughs> mean, so yeah. And you do that. You learn from that. You, you are always, it's a, it's a matter of like, it's, there's no way to make up for bad nutrition. It's just feed yourself good, good food and start right now so that you're not like killing yourself at the beginning of the year or cardioing your cardio in your way out of bad nutrition. It, it, <laughs> it, is, it doesn't work that way. You lose some muscle. So you lose some shape, you know, it's other, all sorts of repercussions with that. So I love, I loved hearing that last, last year, like I lost some weight, I lost some inches and I just felt good. And I'm ready to start this year so much better than I have all the other years of making any effort of new year's resolution. So, right. And so imagine by being able to do that during the holidays, having the accountability, working out with other people that are doing the same damn thing and giving yourself <laughs> this opportunity to look good through the holidays instead of beating yourself up. Cause that's, yeah. that's the thing. And when I provide for you guys, the meditations, the mindset work, then you're going to be able to kind of begin to see your own patterns, your ways of thinking that say, oh, it's okay to do this, or oh, it's okay to do that, when really it's actually taking you down this shame rabbit hole that doesn't allow you to really enjoy the holidays. You're like eating your feelings. You're basically thinking all the thoughts about family and, and what was what's going on around you instead of like focusing solely on you and saying, okay, what do I need that's going to amplify who I am and reach out to my community, my family, where it inspires them too, because we can do that. Yeah. And some people are more like self-motivated and some people are more group motivated. And it's great to kind of see where you're at because you have the group to help you with that accountability, to help you with the education, to help you with the inspiration. We all need a little inspiration. It's not about beating ourselves up. It's just about understanding what is it that I need to work on today and then go from there. So all right, mi gente, the link is going to be attached to this um, live and sign up. It's live and going and you kind of want to reserve your spot because we're only going to do like a certain amount of spot for people. <gasps> so get in there. <laughs> All right. 
Thank you. Adios, mi gente. Adios. <laughs>